Welcome back to the Urban Ranch version 2.0, episode 17.3. Well, welcome back. Uh, we're here in the auto house uh, working on refinishing the doors uh, more today. And unfortunately, while one set of the pocket doors that sat on the other side of the house was really in fantastic condition, uh, there's a little bit of uh, um, some of the veneer that I'll have to uh, uh, redo, and we'll talk about that in another uh, clip here. Uh, unfortunately, the set of doors that were on the side of the house of Crystal and I lived in, um, not in the, in, as pristine, I should say, as the others. And there's a couple little pieces of the trim specifically that we're going to have to redo. So I figured I'd show that to you today. Um, it uh, takes a little time and it's a little tedious work, but I think the uh, uh, end product will be well worth it. So I'm going to just show you the doors here. And what we have, uh, again, you can see the door. This one specifically, this panel has a crack in it. So I'm going to have to figure out whether I'm going to try and splice in a piece of veneer in here. I'm not sure if that gap's big enough, or I may have to putty it with a, um, uh, a stain to match um, putty uh, for the door. But unfortunately, the more obvious defect here is right here. So the set of doors on our side of the house, uh, somebody at some point had put in a brass uh, not, um, kind of a recessed handle, if you will. Uh, those I have, I'll refinish, polish those up, and those will go back on, not a problem. But unfortunately, what else they did was they actually put a window latch as a locking mechanism between the two doors. And um, unfortunately, whenever they did that, they really weren't thinking. I mean, they totally kind of just chunked out this piece of trim. And as you can see, just from the profile of this trim, looking back here at the end of the door, this is not a standard piece of trim uh, that you'd be able to pick up at Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, the other complicating factor to this is that this door is recessed in between these two pieces of trim. Now, if we go to the sister door for this, I have this over here, and that's this door here. You can see then that this door has a, um, it's not recessed, it sits proud from the door, and it has a piece of trim that is actually a su similar but different profile. And again, you can see here more um, easily kind of where they put, literally it was a window hinge. It wasn't even a, a proper door hinge um, to use to, to technically lock these doors. It was really horrible, whoever did this. Um, but um, I need to splice in and, and make new trim to a new trim piece to put in here as well as in the other one. So the way we're gonna do that is uh, it's a Swedish um, uh, piece of steel. Uh, it's an old cabinet um, making uh, uh, technique. Um, what I've done is each of those two pieces of trim, I uh, copied those out. And then again, um, because of the way this goes, you actually have to make an enantiomer or kind of the right to left version of it. So I cut that, um, cut that out uh, quite um, specifically, okay? So, and again, the two trims, they're similar, but they're just different enough that you need to do this twice. So, um, so I have two different uh, dados or, or um, um, kind of um, trim pieces here marked out. And then what I've done is I've come over here and I've taken, this is a Baco uh, cabinet steel, or again, Swedish steel. And what I've done with a series of files is gone and I've made out these two um, uh, kind of cutouts to reflect these two here. What I've done is I've already made one of them. And you can see I took a, a just a stock piece of um, uh, maple that I found. I thought the color of this was similar to the door. And now what I've done is you take that Swedish steel. Now this is the first one I did. I'm gonna to have to redo it. Fortunately, in this, in this piece here, I'll be able to, to do this again because there's just a little bit of a wave. But if I take this piece and set it down here, you can really see how, and if we take a look at the end profile, how I've made that piece of trim there, okay? So again, as you can see, there's a bit of a wave in that piece there. It's just not as, as, as straight as I'd like. So again, I'm gonna do it again on, on probably the other end of this. Um, but I've now made this second um, trim mold, um, kind of cut out, if you will. And I'm gonna take that and now make that maybe on the back side of this or maybe at this other end here. So um, again, a little bit of a tedious process, but really uh, the only way to, to do this, to get these doors 
uh, back to the condition um, that we really want them in and to kind of basically make up for somebody's error here at some point in time. So, all right, so I just uh, redid the other side, uh, the, the original side that I did that was a little, had a little bit of a bend to it. This side came out uh, much better. I'm, I'm really like that. Interestingly though, it seems to be there was like a little bit of a knot in the wood here. So it kind of jumped on me here, but I have a long enough uh, section here that this should uh, work good for me. And then uh, I'll show you the other side. So this is then the piece that I'll use for the other door. All right, so now what we've done is uh, we took this door and um, where this piece had been uh, really kind of just jobber wonky uh, out of here, kind of cleaned that up, took our uh, new piece that we have made with our Swedish scribe. And uh, you see now, that seems to fit pretty good. So, um, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'll glue that into place, uh, let that sit overnight, and then again, then I'm going to uh, I'm try and, you can see the wood's close, um, but I'm going to uh, then see if I can't uh, try and come close to the stain, and um, just uh, touch that up a little bit, especially kind of this little edge piece here, and um, hopefully that kind of hides that uh, just a little bit better. So uh, still a little bit more work to do, but uh, pretty happy with uh, us little guys coming out here. So a little bit more to do. So you can see this is the other door. Um, and we'll get a little closer shot here. This is now the uh, similar piece of trim that's now been glued in. So again, more to come. Um, certainly going to be in episode 17.4 to kind of finish up some of this door refinishing. Hope you're enjoying.